For millions of artifacts in the Henry Ford's digital collections, our experts choose three and reveal the surprisingly curious connections between them. A reader, a coverlet, and a letter. How do these seemingly different objects connect? They all relate to an enduring human ideal described by Franklin D. Roosevelt in his 1941 speech as freedom from want. And want isn't just about hunger. William Holmes McGuffey published the first of his series of readers in the 1830s. The idea of free public education was then in its infancy. McGuffey's textbooks provided an easy, standardized way of learning to read, especially for children in rural areas and on the frontier. Two, the stories, poems, essays, and speeches found in the readers engage children and introduce them to ideas and information beyond their everyday world. Public school systems continue to grow, offering kindergarten through 12th grade classes to many by the early 20th century. There were other opportunities for learning. Books became more affordable, and many cities and towns built public libraries filled with books, newspapers, and magazines, open to all. Now, the Internet offers a vast universe of information, right at our fingertips. Literacy builds bridges. It not only opens the door to employment opportunities, it feeds our minds and enriches our lives. When this coverlet was woven in the 1840s, the ideal of peace and plenty was a common theme in American life. For more than two centuries, Waves of immigrants had come to the New World, hoping for better than they had experienced in the places they left. For many, America would deliver. Agricultural bounty and a steady flow of mass-produced, affordable goods would help Americans enjoy a rising standard of living. Yet the idea of plenty still eludes many. This letter from the Goodfellows organization asked donors to contribute funds to purchase clothing and other articles for needy children. Giving back is the ultimate freedom from want, having more than enough to be able to share with others in need through community and individual philanthropy, as well as tax-funded government programs. Giving back helps assure that everyone has a place at the table and that people are not worried about basic necessities like food, clothing, and shelter in a time of need. Education as a foundation for a successful and enriching life. Access to material comforts and the peace to enjoy them. Sharing with others in need. Taken together, they provide freedom from want, an ideal that, however imperfectly manifested at any one time, remains a foundation of our democratic society.